Hi all, this is Ubu. Welcome to Azure SQL Jump YouTube channel. Uh, this is my uh, seventh uh, uh, session on uh, SQL Server DBA L1 series. During this session, uh, we will talk about uh, uh, so how many types of reads are available in SQL Server, and uh, so what are the different reads available? Uh, what are the different reads and how to uh, see those kind of reads in SQL Server? And we'll see, we'll compare with on-premises along with the cloud uh, before going to the uh, reads concepts. Okay, uh, if you want to see uh, previous my uh, L1 series, okay, you can go to my YouTube channel and go to the playlist. Uh, here we placed already SQL Server L1 DPA task where, where we already done six sessions. Now this is our uh, seventh session, okay. Coming to concepts, so today we are going to see the uh, how many types of reads are available in SQL Server along with the, what are the different uh, be between the dirty reads and non-repeatable reads and phantom read. Okay, so we will we'll talk more much about uh, these three reads and we'll see the demo on on-premises along with the cloud. First, let's start with the dirty read. So uh, when you go for dirty read, what do you mean by dirty read means? So for example, if user one is performing insert or update or delete. So for example, if user one is performing, uh, user one is performing insert operation or update operation or delete operation. Okay, same time if, if user two wants to read the data, user two wants to read the data means he wants to try to read the data then those reads technically will call it as a dirty reads means uh, we are not sure whether user one will commit the data or roll back the data if 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 he, he can roll back the data we we are reading the uncommitted data so means we are allowing users to read the uncommitted data so always we need to protect the dirty reads means we should not in in real in in the production box we should not allow uh, any users to read the uncommitted data always we need to read committed data so what do you mean by that it means so if user one is performing insert or update or delete same time if user two is trying to read the data those reads technically will call it as a dirty reads those reads will technically will call it as a dirty reads if, if you go to here so for example user two is updating the date user one is updating the data or inserting okay same time if user two is reading the data he can roll back the data means he can he can roll back the data at certain point means he's already read the data whatever user one is updated but but again after some time user two is user one is rolled back so always we should restrict dirty rates means always we should protect the dirty rates means no users can read the uncommitted data so how to restrict the dirty reads how to protect the dirty reads okay that we will discuss in the next coming session that is nothing but isolation level as part of today we are uh, we are completely discussing about the reads so come on going to the dirty reads demo part so first i'm going to show you the uh, dirty read in on premises later on i will also show you in the azure sql so that you can compare uh, the same kind of demos in uh, on premises or sql on azure vm or mi or you can go for Azure SQL database. So when you go to the uh, demo part, first I'm going to create a table, product table along with I'm trying to insert three records. I'm inserting three records with, with some dummy data, with some dummy data. So once you create a table, let's go and see what data is available in this table by performing the select statement. Currently this table contains only three records. This table contains only three records okay so three records for time being so to to reproduce the dirty read to to reproduce the dirty read i am using begin transaction and i am updating uh, the product table with the quantity 5 currently is 0 1 0 0 1 is quantity is 10 currently i am updating to 5 and 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 uh, i am using waiting for delay wait for delay for 15 seconds so this is seconds minutes and hours i am telling explicitly telling to sql server wait for 15 seconds and after 15 seconds roll back the transaction i am not committing the transaction i am roll backing the transaction so if user one is triggering this kind of operation statement same time if user two wants to read the data 
same time if user wants to read the data okay see now user 2 is re reading quantity equal to 5 after once this complete this this begin statement after the 15 seconds again the session has been rolled back now you are able to see again 10 means user is not yet committed user is rolled back so we should not allow end users to read uncommitted data always we need to protect means so whenever users are performing inserts or updates or delete no user can perform select statement no user can perform select statement so how to protect how to restrict we'll say in the isolation level like same you can use like like how you are setting uncommitted transactions isolation level read uncommitted like same you can also use the no lock hint as a query hint same triggering the same begin statement and i am just triggering the select statement with no lock so this will also reproduce the issue see again you are seeing the five i'm using with no lock as a query hint so what is the advantage what is the disadvantage is going forward we'll discuss with no lock and we'll also discuss some other query hint sessions as well okay so after 15 seconds the session has been rolled back now again when you back and go and see you will see only 10 means the session has been rolled back by user one so whenever finally what what we need to understood means whenever users are performing inserts or update or deletes no user can read the data because they may they may can roll back the data so always make sure that we need to pass only committed data to the end users now again same thing you can reproduce in the cloud as well so uh, i i uh, created azure sql database and currently i'm having only one database that is db1 and i connected to the db1 database and i am reproducing the same thing i'm just creating the same table okay uh, so once the table is created once uh, the three records has been inserted yeah fine it's created the table and it's uh, inserted three records same thing here i open one session where i am going to run the begin transaction begin that begin the transaction so run the query okay fine same time once you run the query so it is being running go to the user to and trigger the both select statement at same time so now user 2 can read the data the quantity equal to 5 5 5 so one one thing i am using read uncommitted explicitly i am telling sql server I am setting this transaction as a read and commit and I am trying to perform the select statement. When your isolation level is read uncommitted, it won't block the select statement. You can execute the select statement even you are performing inserts or updates or delete. So this is nothing but a dirty reads means if user one is performing inserts or update, same time if user two is able to read the data, those reads technically we should call it as a dirty reads how to avoid we'll see in the next uh, uh, series of dbl1 isolation level next so next we'll discuss on non-repeatable reads so when you go go to the non-repeatable reads so for example you are writing a programmatic so you are writing one program begin tran begin tran and you are performing one select statement select salary from employee where e name equal to employee name equal to some xyz and you are retrieving 10000 and you are retrieving 10000 so and you are you are performing some calculations aggregation something related to this 10000 again you are ending you are performing same select statement same sort of select statement select salary from employee table where employee okay uh, I, I employ name equal to some xyz so but this time you are getting a different value so starting within one program starting you are getting one value ending you are getting well well when what different value that reads technical you should call it as a non-repeatable reads that reads technical you should call it as a non-repeatable reads means within one single program you are seeing two different values for for a query same identical queries 
for same identical query you are seeing two different value those reads technically we should call it as a non repeatable reads means what happened in middle so user to updated your record to 15000 in the middle in the middle user to updated your record to 15000 like same like same it's if if you go for demo okay so if 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 i'm performing a select statement again so select a quantity from product table currently what is the quantity is available here 10 10 okay so i am writing two identical select statement i'm i'm just using waiting for delay and uh, i'm i'm committing the transaction this time being it is a user one now same time if you go to the user two i am trying to update to five i am trying to update to value to five so now once this query is completed let's see the output what you will get by first select statement and what you the value you will get by second select statement the first select statement you are getting 10 second select statement you are getting 5 means these reads technically you will call it as a non repeatable reads means within one single program you are writing two identical select statement but you are able to see two different values the first you are seeing one value ending at you are seeing one value these reads technically you should call it as a non repeatable reads same thing you can reproduce over the cloud platform as well same thing you can reproduce over cloud platform so if you go to the non repeatable read just go to the non repeatable read demo I will attach all this demo over the video description. You can get it. You can go and practice on both platforms. Okay, same select statement. I'm just triggering here and go to the query to and let's update to 15. This time I'm updating with a different value to see. Okay, so if you go to the session one, so once this session is done, you will see two different identical value. First value will see 10, second value will see the 15 second value will see the 15 second value will see the 15 first value is 10 second value is 15 so within same procedure you are seeing two different values those reads technically we should call it as a non repeatable reads those reads will call it as a non repeatable reads so going to next phantom read uh, this is something very interesting phantom read so phantom read means unexpected number of rows so for example uh, you are a project you you are a, you are a manager for one project project and and you know you recruited 150 employees 150 employees in your project so almost 150 employees are working in the current companies I treat this as an organization 150 uh, employees are working and you are a ceo of your company and you went for some occasion for uh, 10 to 15 days and you noted verified your mails or you completely went for occasion and no more touch okay in meanwhile okay uh your manager you were below that they, they recruited almost 25 25 employees additional and currently 175 employees are working in your project so once you back you just perform select statement select star from uh, employee table your expectation is 150 but you are getting 175 entries so whenever you see unexpected number of rows those reads unexpected of number of reads those reads technically we should call it as a phantom read those reads technically we should call it as a phantom is unexpected number of rows unexpected number of rows is nothing but phantom reads unexpected number of rows means you are expecting something you are getting something so very simple uh, same identical very simple uh, uh, demo so for example when you are performing select statement when you are performing select statement you think that only you are getting only one record so one record for mobile mobile but for example user user to inserted some records user to inserted some records or let's let's go and say go and run this select statement again so currently you are you, you should get starting one record ending also one record but in the middle someone inserted some data okay now starting you will get only one record and ending you are getting 
multi n number n records means four records currently I inserted only three so currently we are having one total you will get four records means unexpected number of rows is nothing but phantom read unexpected same thing you can replicate in a, a cloud platform as well same select statement you can run and you will see first one record and later you can insert three more records later you will see four records total you will see one record along with you will see four records you can minimize this one and you can expand this one to more clear you can see in one screen the first select statement is retrieving one but second select statement you are retrieving four records so unexpected number of rows so finally uh, we should understood the reads are very important before you go to the isolation level before you go to the locks before you go for blocking deadlocks troubleshooting reads are very important so how what kind of reads are available in sql server how to protect the reads that we are going to cover in the next session of isolation level thanks for watching uh, please subscribe my channel if you like the uh, session okay keep in touch thank you